Hi Virgo and welcome to your weekly love tower readings. We're going to take a look at the messages coming in for you in relation to love and romance. As always guys, these messages are general so please just keep that in mind throughout the reading. If you're interested in a personalized tower reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here. Alright guys, these messages are intended for Virgo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and to those cross watching as well. Let's take a look what messages are coming in for you here Virgo. Okay, you've got the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, something is happening for you here, and then you've got the Hangman, something stalls. Okay, the High Priestess, oh, and the Tower card, alright. Three out of four major Akada cards. So this week is going to be very powerful. Okay, there's going to be some, well, some uncomfortable changes. There's going to be some, um, it's going to be eventful to say the least here. Yeah. Okay, let's begin with the Knight of Wands energy. Um, Knight of Wands is very emotionally scattered to me. He is, um, he is an energy that is very impulsive, that likes to act first, think later. So um, this gives me the impression that there is something here that's happening very quickly, which could be a red flag emerging and waving at you here, Virgo. So if there is someone here who's being a little bit, you know, if they're love bombing you or they're, if they're being too, too forward here about their intentions for you and about the connection here, and especially if you don't, if you don't necessarily feel it's organic or natural, you know, use your intuition. The high priestess did show up here. Um, so I do feel like you, your intuition here could potentially be um, warning you of something here and preventing you um, from, you know, any um, misgivings from happening here. So the Knight of Wands, it does feel like something here starts off really quickly, okay? But I feel like there is some sort of red flags attached to this or someone here starts um, developing, you know, um, very strong and very forward feelings for you. I'm not saying they're not genuine, but I am saying that for some of you, there is something here that starts very quickly and then it fizzles out. Okay, and then the fire sort of gets put out, or the fire here sort of um, is slowly fizzling out here with the Knight of uh, Wands. Someone's, I feel like there is um, emotionally scattered energy here surrounding either you or this person here. And I do feel like there is, for some of you, um, there is someone here who enters your life or who has entered your life very quickly. And they also might be leaving your life or have has left your life just as quickly here. Um, the Knight of Wands is a free spirit. Look at the way his horse is, you know, read up like that. It's always ready for action. Um, he He's always prepared for what's ahead. And the problem with him is he's not always in the moment. He's always in search um, of, you know, for a better moment here as well. Um, fire is a dominant factor in the Knight of Wands symbolism here. Um, so there's a lot of energy that surrounds this card here as well. He's adventurous and um, he's after finding fun things to do no matter where he is okay there's never a dull moment with the knight of wands when he's around here and when this card shows up in your spread it either tells you that there is something here that needs completing there's an important task that you have to do here or i feel like it's it also shows up when someone here is planning to make a next move of some sort here um Planning is a big thing, especially if the hangman has shown up, because I feel like you should take into account the consequences of your actions, or you should take into account the consequences of someone's actions here. Um, also, when this card turns up, it does tell us that there is something here that's happening, and especially with the tower here on the other end. Something here is going to happen this week, which I feel like you're not prepared for. There's an event that is happening, and maybe is happening too soon. So for some of you, this could be that someone here might ghost you this week, or this could be, there could be like a falling out or, or a disagreement, or something here comes undone, pulls apart for you instead of coming together. It could also indicate a very hasty change of job, residence, or anything else, like a romantic prospect, um, or anything, you know, changes. A lot of changes here in your life here, is what I'm seeing. Um, for some of you, if you do have someone new who has come into your life, they're likely to be impulsive, charming, very passionate here, a bit of a volatile or a very rash nature here, which makes it very difficult for you to settle down with this person. Evidence of this will show up, you know, later on throughout your connection, so take it as a bit of a warning here. Um, it can also point to 
This card does not have to represent a person. It can represent a time in your life that can feel very exciting, but still erratic, um, adventurous, a little bit hasty here. Um, and then you have the hangman here, and I do feel like there is some sort of delay. So something that begins very on a very exciting note, or something that happens very quickly for you, all of a sudden starts slowing down. Someone who catches feelings, all of a sudden, you know, they may hit a bit of a dead road, a dead end. Sorry. Or uh, if you find that you know a connection here starts off very strongly, it starts fizzling out here with the hangman. Um, there's also a need for some of you Virgo here to see something. I feel like some of you are. Um, you, you're needing to see something either you're needing to let go of something here let go of some sort of illusions here or let go of um, seeing you know the illusion of seeing things that aren't really there or having to see things from a different angle or a different perspective here for you um, Notice how, you know, the hangman, he upside down, he hangs upside down and he views the world from this um, perspective here. So for some of you, I feel like, you know, that, that's what's needed here, suggesting that you position yourself from a different angle and see things from a different angle here. Um, the fact that he's the halo here, which is a reference to the sun, wraps around his head here, symbolizes new insight, awareness, or even enlightenment that is coming into your life here, or someone who's going to provide you these things here. Um... The way that he, the hangman here, the way that he hangs upside down, this is a card of ultimate uh, surrender here. So it's a time of letting go here and just allowing things to happen for you here. The hangman here is calling you to release here things that no longer serve you. That also means, you know, breaking old patterns, habits, um, going for the same type of person again and again engaging in the same type of a relationship here or needing to embrace new opportunities that would otherwise have been hidden for you if you don't necessarily hit the brakes and take a step back here um there are certain pauses in your life here virgo i'm seeing you know uh, we've mentioned something happening really quickly for you and then something stops or stalls here those pauses if you're in tune to those intuitions they are t trying to tell you something they are either telling you to hit the brakes or put things on hold before things actually get out of hand because i feel like there is some sort of incoming tower moment for some of you virgos but i do want to say that i'm sensing this tower moment or to can be prevent prevented provided you hit the brakes on something or you hit the brakes with someone or you take a step back here and sort of look at things from a different perspective analyze things differently look at things emotionally rather than rationally or rationally rather than emotionally here um but what's happening is you're out of alignment with someone or something here and your intuition is trying to communicate this to you virgo but for some of your intuition is just faintly whispering here and you're unable to you know really tune in and hear what it is it's trying to say for some of you i feel like you know the universe is purposely trying to put things on hold because this person is no good for you or that relationship eventually went eventuate into anything more than it is right now and it's or that person doesn't want to get serious with you and some of you i feel like are really trying to force a uh, force fit and trying to make something happen but the universe here is purposely trying to put you know pauses or obstacles in your way so that you don't get through to this you know you, you don't go where you're not supposed to be heading here so and the universe will turn up the volume here on your intuition this week so listen if you have a bad feeling about someone or something listen to that bad feeling don't go there don't say that don't connect with that person if that was if that's what your intuition is trying to tell you for a lot of you i feel like look um i did say some of you can prevent it and those that do listen to their intuition will prevent this tower moment or will pre prevent some sort of destruction or some sort of uncomfortable or unexpected event from happening for others i feel like it's something that cannot be prevented simply because something here is coming to a very unexpected and abrupt halt like for instance some of you may be ghosted and it's not something that you can do there's nothing that you can say to make this person stay there's nothing that you've said to make this person go either it's happened so a lot of it is you know just accepting and taking the lesson and learn like taking the lesson here and hoping that you know uh, you'll use that as a learning tool moving forward here Again, if something is delayed here, don't push forward with it. Do not push. Like if someone here is not responding to you, if someone here is ghosted you, or if there's some delays surrounding your 
personal situation, be it what may, do not push forward. Know that something new is trying to emerge it, but you won't be able to see it until after that situation is done. Okay, um, and that pretty much is your reading, guys. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I, of course, will be sharing more tarot love readings with you later in the week, so do stay tuned. Thank you guys again for your time and attention. Bye for now.